Welcome to the vlog. Today we're with Gino and Jerome. Good morning. Gino, Jerome. And the uh, flat ride. And I'm gonna get to test out the Richie Venture Max. Are we doing 100? Are we doing 100? I don't know. Ask Gino. Are we doing 100? I think we're doing 150. 150? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> what time is it? 6.51. <laughs> you gotta be home. I'm coming out of my ass. I need yeah. to be home at lunch. <laughs> well, we'll see. When we get to the cafe, we'll see what you guys are at. Alright. Okay, the race. Race starts now. Go! <laughs> so who has a better hub sound? I don't know who is better, but I think Gino's is louder. <laughs> Second time in sea salt, and also my second puncture in sea salt while the bike was parked. What the hell? What the hell? Decided to put a tube in. Oh well, tubeless days of these tires are over. You sent me a video yep. of. Uh, <laughs> about the Richie Venture Max, I wasn't sure I liked it at first. First of all, wait, shout out Cycle Meeting. Thank you for giving me the handlebars. Like I said, I wasn't sure I liked it at first, but I do. The hoods to me don't feel that different. Even though the shifters are angled, it does not feel that different to me. Where it does feel a lot different is on the drops. Now, on the drops, there's a slight bump on the drops and it does go like in between your palms somehow. And it feels better because it feels like something is cradling your palm. Right? <laughs> I mean, for the lack of a better word. But also, I really like the wider handlebars. I think I would really enjoy experimenting with an even wider handlebar. But first, I gotta bring this handlebar to an off-road descent. Maybe when we get home. There's a quick off-road descent near my house. Again, shout out Cycle Meeting. I'll put the link on their online Facebook page in the description. Buy stuff from there, man. Good online store. One last climb and then down an off-road section down a steep off-road section to test the drop bars see if there really is a big difference on wider drop bar means more stability let's see how that goes all right we're here 
we're gonna go to the off-road downhill section and uh, test out the drops hopefully we don't flat because I don't have any more interior tubes all right let's do this I need to use it some more. I feel more confident going down. It does seem like it's a little less twitchier. So before with my other bars, sometimes it would feel like I couldn't control where the bike was going. But that was usually, well, yeah usually on the uphill and sometimes on the downhill and on that ride it did feel like I was able to do minor adjustments easier than before but like I'm kind of curious because it seems like the difference is more subtle now on the road on the road on the drops it's probably a little bit less aero because you're a bit wider, but I don't think I'm not I'm that much wider than usual. So the it's probably a negligible effect. On the hoods, I can't tell much of a difference. On the drops, it does feel different. I feel like it's more comfortable on the drops. So the problem with the old, you know what? Let's get home and I'll show you the old handlebar. So the problem with this handlebar is that my hands barely fit between the curve and it kind of crunches it down it barely fits so it makes it kind of difficult to get comfortable in there i don't have the same problem with the new one so this is a richie neo max uh came stop on my jamis renegade years back so the venture max i don't have the same problem so it seems a lot more well a little bit more comfortable so here's the thing I can't tell a huge difference there definitely is a difference uh, especially with how my hand fits but I can't say it's necessarily much better but I am very happy to have it thank you cycle meeting for sending it over honestly this is the most excited I've been for a while for some sort of bike part oops Sorry about that. So shout out Dustin Klein, the ride by the numbers, 86.33 kilometers, three hours, 34 minutes and 17 seconds moving time with 342 meters of elevation gain. No boring days. You can only go that way, that's only the leading. My kids have a YouTube channel, Manu and Mati Place? What's it called? Manu and Mati Place! Okay. Alright, subscribe. Don't subscribe to this channel, subscribe to their channel.